Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bonnie and welcome to Bonnie Beauty Hub. Alright, so today I know I look very weird but you will get to know why I look this weird today because it's my BoxyCharm unboxing. So to see all the products that I received in the box and what is it that I'm wearing today, keep on watching. Hey, so yeah, April 2021, this is my BoxyCharm for this month and I'm super excited about this box because I know there are a few other products which I know if I try I might like them but one of the product I was so excited to get it because I've been eyeing it for a very long time even during the Sephora sale it's completely sold out and that is the Natasha Denona palette and they have the Natasha Denona glam palette and these shades are very similar to her glam palette shades so let me see if this is a palette that was specifically made so this is a special edition palette created exclusively for BoxyCharm. That's what I thought of because they do have the Glam Mini palette, but that is the $25 palette. And those, the, uh, the eyeshadows are really tiny. They have very small eyeshadows, but these are the $48 one. Am I right? Yes. So this size is the $48 eyeshadow palette size and the BoxyCharm you pay $25 every month just this palette makes it totally worth for me i i know the quality of natasha denona shadows they're really really good and especially when the glam palette is completely out of stock everywhere even on their website and the sephora website it's really good to get this on a boxy charm box there's another product that i wanted to try this one and that is the appeal liquid eyeshadow stick i like these eyeshadow sticks if it at least focuses okay it's too glittery so it's not focusing it's a very champagne -y. it has a little bit of gray tone in it but it's a very gray tone champagne -y color and it is from the brand appeal i think we've got other appeal products as well before the name of the color is champagne so for a champagne color this is a very neutral toned champagne so i'm excited to try this i like liquid eyeshadows because it is very easy to do a cut crease look though i'm not a makeup artist i don't do huge cut crease looks but still it gives you a easier way to do that so let me first do a blending let me just use a transition shade all right so first i'm going to use a nice fluffy brush and I am using the first shade. They don't have the names. Okay. So I think the, the names is completely opposite on the other side. So this is Harlow. This is the lash line. This is satin skin. This is CM crease. And this is glam green. So I'm going to take Harlow and put it as a transition shade. Wow. There's a lot of fallout. I just dipped it once. And I'm not sure if you can see the fallout. I just dipped it once. Normally, yeah, now that I think of it, yes, Natasha Denon shallow shadows, they have a little bit of fallout, but uh, it's really easy to blend and it's really good. But the fallout is only in the pan. I don't have fallouts when I use it on my face. So that's why I did my full face of makeup. So let's see. I don't have a small mirror. Let me pick a small mirror right here. Okay and do the transition shade. So I feel this is a perfect contouring shade for your eyes because you want, if you want a little bit of shadow on your eyes which gives you a very natural transition. So this is the perfect shade that looks exactly like your shadow on your eyelids. So it gives you the perfect contours over here. So yeah, I love this color, especially for medium skin tones. This would be beautiful. It is a blending brush, but it is very thin compared to what we used before so i'm using this shade it is cm crease i'm gonna take this shade very lightly as i told you there's a lot of fallout and do it on my crease but very lightly so with this shade i'm not going all the way into my eye but i am just doing half of my eyelid again only on the crease just to intensify the transition. All right, so now I'm taking the liquid eyeshadow. Oh, it's a brush tip. That's weird. Normally it's like a doeful applicator, but this is a brush tip. And let's see how it comes. How? Oh, that is pigmented. Okay. So a brush tip is a little more flexible, but I'm not sure if I would have more control 
to use it but let's still give it a try wow that is beautiful it still gives the wet feel on your eyelid but let's see how long it takes to dry and now because i have hooded eyelids i'm going to take it slightly over till the area where my lower eyelid touches my upper eyelid so that there's no transfer later on wow it is easy i thought it would be too flexible and i would not have control over it but it is still very easy to apply it on your eyelid and voila i think i'm done i can see the difference between the both eyeshadows so i'm just going to take my fluffy brush and blend out this place i'm using the smaller blending brush that i use for my crease color and i'm taking the color glam green i'm taking a little bit i'm taking this a bit shimmery color to blend both these colors together the matte color and the liquid color i'm just taking this to blend both of them together so that says a perfect transition and yeah i think we are done that is it do i want to do my lash line as well okay so i want to try this shade as well so i'm going to take a little bit on my finger we know it has good coverage i've taken this on my finger and i'm just slightly dabbing it over the liquid eyeshadow that i used wow that is beautiful wow i think i could have done just with the liquid eyeshadow itself this was not required but still i wanted to give it a try it's really smooth it's really pretty and it's blending with all the other colors perfectly i'm going to take a small puffing brush like this i'm going to take the darker color from here just it's really dark two dabs and i'm going to use it at the end of my eyelids and a little bit on my eyelash line that is very little very little just to give me the depth on my eyes that is it i'm going to leave it right here i'm not going to do this on my lower lash line because these are very neutral tones which i'm scared that it would make me look very sick that i have the dark under eyes so i'm not going to use it on my lower lash line but yeah i think it's really beautiful and it's the natasha denona i didn't expect anything bad from it so i'm going to finish my other eye and i'll be right back all right so now that my eyes are done i'm going to use a little bit of my mascara this is the maybelline sky high mascara now i'm going to use the makeup forever aqua resist color pencil in the color ebony in my waterline and my tight line all right so now that my eyes are done we're moving to the next item and that is the Eloise it is the get gleaming body glow illuminator this is just the first pump so let me show you how pigmented it is okay so this again i feel it has a grayish undertone and this does not have a lot of pigmentation it looks more like a oily illuminator so i'm not sure so i'm just going to take yeah this doesn't have any color when i blend it out So I just have a little bit on my fingertip and I'm going to put it on my skin right now. It does give a very subtle glow because I've used very little and I'm just taking the remaining and putting it on the other side. Yeah, I don't think this is more for a face. I think this would be a one that I would use for my body. So let me just check it out over here. I'm going to put one pump and let's see yes this is more of a body illuminator it is mentioned it's a body illuminator but i just wanted to try on my skin as well wow on the body i like so if you're looking for an illuminator that gives you a little bit of coverage this is not the one but if you want it just a pure illuminator just a glowy one i think this is beautiful wow in the summer times is going to look very pretty but i still have the sticky slightly sticky feel let's go to the next product and before the end we'll see if it is still sticky or not all right so moving the next product is a lip gloss uh it is be a bomb shell lip gloss it's cruelty free and i think the name of the gloss is the name of the shade is hammer time it's just like a normal lip gloss but look at the color it's gray should i try it out 
I don't know. <laughs> I have all, as I told you, everything that I use today has a very grayish undertone. So it's all cool tone today. So let me just take off my lipstick and I'll be right back. All right, so now that my lipstick is gone, I'm really scared to try this one. I, I'm trying it because it's a lip gloss. I can easily take it off. It was a, If it was a lipstick, a matte lipstick, I would have not tried it. So let's see how it goes with this makeup lip. Ready? I'm not ready. Ready? Okay, let's give it a try. Oh my God, it's pigmented. This is really pigmented, wow. Okay, I'm changing my thought about it. I'm glad I received this color. I was just thinking, why did I receive such a weird color? But I glad, I'm glad I received this color because by seeing the pigmentation, I know I look weird right now, but I think you need to have at least one weird color in your collection, right? So I'm already happy with the Natasha Denona palette. So I'm not mad that I got this color because if I want to do a weird look or something later on, I think this would be a good choice. I'm, I'm glad I would have this in the collection. This shade makes my teeth look really, really yellow. So I don't wish to open my mouth and talk properly. But other than that, I think this is nice. But yeah, I'm not mad that I got this color. Am I crazy? <laughs> I, think, I think I'm okay that I got this color. I sort of like it because, because of the pigmentation. I just didn't want it to look very patchy and half gray and half blue and half of my lips pigmentation uh, peeking through. But yeah, I like how it looks. My favorite is the eyes. I know my uh, entire face looks very weird because I'm trying another foundation, which I'm already not a big fan of. But yeah, but otherwise, I love the way my eyes look. I love the Natasha Denona palette and the liquid uh, eyeshadow. Sort of love with the lip gloss as well. And moving on to the last item. This is from Earth Harbor and this is from Aurora. This is Aurora. It is a superfood luminance ampoule. 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 How do you pronounce it? Let me know. It is a superfood luminance Ampoule. I'll just write it in the screen for you. So this is a, it, this is like a moisturizer. Sorry for the confusion here. I know you must be wondering what's going on. I'm just right now editing this BoxyCharm video and I realized the camera cut me off when I was doing my closing. So thankfully, I'm glad that I showed you all the full-size products. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that if you buy these full-size products separately, they would retail you for $153 plus tax. However, I got this first for 25 bucks and that is why I love BoxyCharm because you get to experiment a few products which you know that you would not buy in the market. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.